Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick video on what happens when we accidentally commit to master and how we undo that. So let's say uh, I'm working on my project for the day. Um, I go ahead and I'm going to fork it. And as soon as that's done, I'm going to clone my project down and start working. So like normal, I'm going to do a git clone. I'm going to cd into my directory, and, and let's say I go ahead and I start doing some work. And I'm just going to make a small change just so we have something to commit. So I'm just going to add a new line there, save this file. Um, and if I do git status, we'll see that I have a change. Okay, so then let's do git add and git commit. Oh no, I just realized that... I never made a name branch. I just have a branch in master. What if I even went so far as pushing this before I realized that I hadn't done my named branch? Because it tells me right here I just pushed a master. <gasps> oh no. If we check our GitHub, we now see that we have a commit in the master branch. So how do we undo this? Well, the first thing is I don't want to delete my entire repo, which is what we could do but we want to use uh, the tools that Git gives us to keep our work in a name branch and then reset the master branch to where it is. So the first thing I want to do is create our named branch because if I do a git log, it'll show me all of the commits that I've made on this branch. And we'll see that I have one called my first change. So let's make my name branch like normal. Git checkout dash B Henry Blevins. So now I have a new branch called Henry Blevins. Git branch. I'm in Henry Blevins. If I do a git log, we see that we still have my first change in there. And that's because we've branched off of master. Notice that it says that head, this variable that indicates the commit that our branch is most recently at, points here. If I check out master again, and do git log, we'll see that it is also at this commit and the head is pointing here. What we can do is we can move the head variable around using the git reset command. So what I want is to copy this commit hash. And then I can reset the head of the master branch to point here. We can think of this like removing this commit from master but the key is, is that this commit does not get removed from our nave branch because all we're doing is changing the commit that our master branch points to. If we think of our commits as like little nodes and then our branch is arrows connecting this nodes, we're just erasing the arrow that connects this commit to that one inside of our master branch. That's not going to affect our name branch since it already has an arrow going from, you know, this commit to that commit. So now that we've created our name branch with that change, we're free to go out and reset our master branch. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this commit hash. You can also just copy the first portion of it, or even remember maybe the first five characters, um, because we just need enough of that commit hash in order to uniquely identify that that, that is the commit we're talking about. We're going to use the git reset command to move the head with the hard flag. What that does is when we make changes to head, we can do a soft change, which will change where head points, it will change our most recent commit, but it won't apply changes to the files in our directory. So we can do this to like reset a bunch of commits, but not lose that work, and then recommit it, you know, with different information if we wanted to. But I do want to change the files in the master branch, so I'm going to say dash dash hard, and then I'm going to paste in the name uh, or the hash of the commit I want to reset to. So I run that and now if I do git log we'll see that we no longer have the errant commit that I made in the master. We have the commit our master is supposed to be at. And if I do git checkout to switch into my name branch and do a git log 
we'll see that we still have the commit that I made. We haven't lost any of my work. So let me move back into master. Now we have to solve the issue of the fact that our master branch on our machine, locally, is behind the master branch on GitHub. Git is being helpful here and it's telling me that there's actually changes that I need to download because it's assuming that whatever is on GitHub is what I should have locally. But here's the issue, it's not. So if I try to do a git push, git is going to give me an error. And it's telling me that GitHub is has more commits than I have locally, and so I need to download those changes. But I don't want to do that. So we can use a command that we have to use very, very carefully. And that is git push with the dash dash force flag. What that's going to do is it's going to tell GitHub, you know what, I'm right. I want you to accept whatever changes I'm pushing to you, even if you have different stuff on your server. So this is dangerous, especially git push forcing a master branch, is because if I were collaborating with other people on this project, then suddenly all of their master branches would become out of sync with what's on GitHub. And it wouldn't be a simple issue of them having to git pull new changes. We're rewriting history here. Now, we're not actually removing any commits because those are safe within our name branch. But if you're doing git push force, make sure to only do it on branches that you're the only one working on. Or communicate with every single person on your team so they know what's about to happen, they agree with the changes, and they're prepared to restructure their master branch and any forks that they have locally. But for now, we're the only one on this repo, so we're free to go ahead and do a git push force. And it will go through this time because we're just telling GitHub to power through this error and accept our change. So when I refresh this page, we're going to see right now it says one commit ahead. Now this branch is even with Lambda School Master. So we've been able to reset that change on GitHub reset that change in our master branch, but keep that change in our named branch. There it is. So this is what we do if we accidentally commit to master and what we do if we accidentally push to master. So happy getting and be careful.